Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try something for the first time. Not technique, but brand. I've never used this. I got this Green Stuff World Chrome Paint from Hobby Nut Models. And on my four or a 62 Chevy that I'm doing for the Street Machine Group Build, I am re-chroming the front bumpers uh, and front and rear bumper. And I usually use the spaz sticks. I've used it, real good results. Um, if you'll go back and look at Ruthie's pumpkin mobile, her engine was sprayed in the spaz sticks and it's just a great finish. But I'm gonna try the green stuff world. I've heard a lot about it. Um, it's ready to shoot in your airbrush. This is the airbrush version of it. You have a brushed and an airbrush. So this is the pre-thinned. I have already got a coat of AK black base on these things. That AK black base is the best. Let me get it off of this little thing. It's wanting to focus on my... But this, this stuff is uh, it's the best black paint. It, it's so glossy. And the more gloss you get, the better your chrome is going to look. So I hear... I've not mastered this by any means, but anyway, this is ready to spray. So I'm going to set up the camera. And I figured some of you guys would probably like to see this. I'm going to set the camera up and uh, see if I can successfully spray some green stuff world chrome metal on these bumpers. We shall see. All right, I'm going to get set up and uh, here we go. All right, so I got everything set up. I've got my air compressor down to about 10 PSI. Seems a little high still. And drop it just a little more. You don't want much pressure at all because you're not painting it on like you're doing a paint job. You're misting it on. All right, so never used this before. Shake it up real good. It's got a little ball inside there to shake it. I guess I'll just put a few drops. This uh, had a little spillage um, when I got it, so that's why it looks like it may already have been used. But it hasn't. But there you go. I have not done anything. Oh, yeah, I need to wipe that. Let me get a napkin here. Wipe this off before I make a huge mess. Okay, so I'll just put a couple of drops. One, two, let me see if I can. All right, that's about, I don't know, 20 drops. I can always pull it back out if I don't use it where to put my lid. There it is. I'm going to have to turn on my vacuum because I don't want to smell this stuff. And I'm sure it's very strong. So let me turn that on. I'll try to talk, but if not, you can't hear me. Just you can see me. Here we go.
little more. All right, so I put them in the uh, incubator slash dehydrator to go ahead and dry them because on a lot of the on a lot of these the ones that I've used so far they will leave a little bit of a residue. Let's see if I can see it. There will be a little. Maybe you can see right here. It's, it's not super shiny. It's kind of like an overspray is on it. And that's pretty much what that is. So your first little bit will kind of already begin to dry. And then you'll hit some other area and it will overspray on there. And what I've done in the past is take a very soft cloth. This cloth happened to be transported to me from the Blue Ox Model Shop all the way up in New Hampshire. Uh, when Jason was down last year, or actually this year, he brought me some, or he had some. Anyway, nevertheless, I'm going to see if we can polish that out. One thing you don't want to do with this kind of paint is touch it. The oil on your fingers will turn it black. It kind of neutralizes it, I've noticed. So you have to be careful not to touch it too much but you can polish that stuff oh yeah it's looking nice you can polish it and if you're using this towel I would I just washed my hands so it shouldn't be much oil but you wouldn't want to flip it and use the side that you've been handling because it's just like touching it so I'm just gonna give it a give it a polishing Let's see what it turns out like If you ask, what kind of cloth is this that I'm using? He said he just goes to like a fabric store, like Hobby Lobby or someplace, wherever they sell fabric, and just find you some really nice, soft fabric. He said that's all he did. He just bought a piece and cut it up in little squares. Super soft. Okay. So, Green Stuff World. What do I think? I think it looks pretty darn good. I think it looks pretty darn good. What's another good thing about it is you also get that shadowing effect because you have that black base and you get that stays, so you get a lot of that shadowing. It looks nice. If I could get it to Yeah, that looks real good. I am very pleased. Green stuff world paint. 
thumbs up from me. First time using it. I didn't ruin it. So yeah, very nice. Okay, now let me do the check out the rear bumper. All depends on how smooth or um, how glossy your base coat is. If you sprayed this over something not shiny, you're not going to get a shiny finish really. Now, however, I bought that A cream, A A cream, A K. What is this stuff? Let me grab it. AK Super Chrome, spray it over anything. And it's already pre mixed too. You can grab that at Hobby Nut Models as well. Got all kind of options for chrome over there. Uh, you got AK, you got this AK regular chrome, AK Super Chrome, you've got Alclad, now you've got Green Stuff World. But this stuff here, you shoot it right over whatever. It's just works good, looks good. I would say it's probably not as a realistic looking chrome to me as this. Um, but it just depends on your application. And you don't have to buff this like it, like like I'm doing, but if you see you have a little overspray, you can knock that right off. Yeah, these bumpers look good. Um, the reason I'm re-chroming these bumpers is because the kit chrome, it had flash on it. And if you were to scrape that flash off, you would uh, have obvious places that didn't have chrome. So I like to I like to dechrome my stuff and uh, redo it. I absolutely know that this isn't focusing. It likes my hand, so focuses on my hand. Anyway. I would say yes, the Green Stuff World is an excellent chrome paint as long as you have the, as long as you do the correct steps. They all pretty much are the same. Get a nice shiny uh, black base. The base that I used, not, it's kind of dirty, but it's the AK-471 black base the best shiniest black paint i've ever seen it's pretty thin too you can grab that over at hobby nut models all this stuff that i'm using hobby nut models so all right that, that'd do it so thank you for watching guys um if i did it wrong i'm sure you'll let me know in the comments but that's okay let me know i can do a better job next time but i just wanted to show you this new new stuff that it's not new it's been around a while it's just the first time i've had it so yeah um thanks for watching thanks for all your support guys you're wonderful um you do more for me than i could ever wish for as a community and i can't say thank you enough i can't say thank you to hobby nut models mark over there enough um for allowing me to get my hands on this stuff and try it out so i encourage you guys to go over to hobbynutmodels.com it's linked in the description of this video as a matter of fact i will link the green stuff world chrome paint in the description as well so you can click on that and it'll take you straight there um go check out mark's inventory over there grab yourself a model kit some supplies paint anything you need he's growing and he's getting a lot more uh, of the needed stuff that we have to have to make these these models look real that's the object of the game does it does it look like a real car i think that's my object uh, i want to get it as close to uh, realism at least in the paint and things like that as possible so go over there and check it out hobbynutmodels.com thanks for the facebook group participation you guys are great model car videos facebook group go over there and join if you haven't uh throw a question in if you have a question about something join the facebook group throw that question in the in the uh chat or whatever you call it and uh, you'll get some great answers from modeling experts uh not me, but other guys. I mean, I might also answer you, but there's a lot of knowledge there. Thank you to my supporters over at the Spring Store and my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys, I'm done. And, uh, hey, go grab you some of this. And look at that. That looks pretty. That looks really nice. All right, guys, you guys take care. See ya. Bye.